I'll tell you what guys, this is awesome. Check out this. You can actually see this was evidence of road by the old tarmac. Just lying right away there, you can just see the old road leading right away up. So I think it would bend round across the woodland. The reserve the back that actually used to be called Dunsey Bank. I don't know if it is still called Dunsey Bank. Old photo maps on for you now, dating back quite old. You can see the lane stretching up and then you've got Dunsey Bank. There is actually a biffa works right away at the back. I know I've read research that you ain't supposed to be on the land, but they don't really log people over there. But there is massive sandbanks down the bottom. So I don't know whether you can get to it from this section, but I know if you're on the other side of the Gibbet Lane when you come down, it does say they're a private area, so I don't know whether you can actually be in there. That's one thing what I really don't know. But this bit is really quite interesting though, just to see an old road in Starbridge. I bet many people don't really know about this. Apart from reading all the old like history online about the hauntings and the past bits. But I mean when you look at it, it does really make you wonder what happened down here back in the past. Actually, why did Gibbet Lane actually close? That's actually another really interesting thing. Why why has a road been lost and it's gone like this? Anybody does know why Gibbet Lane has come to the way as today, then feel free to drop it in the comments. I am really interested. So feel free to do that. But just right in front you can just see, I mean cycling this is quite tricky. But check out this. Really awesome. It's nice for a mountain bike up here actually to cycle all this. I'm glad I've got my right bike because I've got some off-road tyres on. So it really does the job. So right, meet you just right away at the top and I'll tell you a bit of information about all this. So right, I don't know where the murders actually really took place over here, but you can just see there was really old trees. Dill, my brother, actually said uh, a body was left hanging for many years. It was sat there for a long, long time. I don't know how true that story is, whether it is linked in, but I haven't read much about this yet. But you can just see there is quite a lot of old trees over here. So if it is dating back to old, could where the murders have happened be where the woody part is right away at the back where the lane used to go? Could it have been there? But could it have been here? Apparently with this place at certain times you do feel temperature drops. I've read quite a lot on the internet about this actually. It's really interesting. I know many people don't believe in the, the ghostly stuff or the spiritual realm. But I kind of do because I have had connections with it before. I've had some really strange stuff happen. So I am kind of a big believer. But down here you can just see this lane. Apparently people have experienced things here on a late night and even in the daytime apparently of a dark figure following them. They've even had someone follow them across holding a gun and then they actually vanished and disappeared. That's one story what I have heard. Also the temperature drops over you notice it goes cold, warm, cold. I actually had similar stuff happen like that up um, Witchbury Hill up by me where Close by where the Hagley Woods is where Bella was actually murdered, but it is really dating old, that place, and it is kind of similar to this one. But you think if anything happened like that, you know, it must be really bad if people have, have experienced things here. And that's why I've come today to see if I have anything happen, you never know. But let's go and journey further away up in a little bit, but I'm going to tell you a bit of information about what really happened here. So basically, it was on 5pm on December the 18th in 1812 when gentleman farmer Benjamin Robbins was brutally attacked. The 57-year-old was making his way back to his home at Dunsley Hall, so it could be this little bit of lane here where they was actually murdered. Oh, it is giving me the, the shivers now being here. <laughs> the 57-year-old was making his way back home at Dunsey Hall following a successful day at the Starbridge Market. That's a long way to walk back from Starbridge from there to get all the way to here, I must really say. It has took me a bit of way to cycle here, actually. He had been drinking in one of the taverns in Starbridge, celebrating when 32-year-old uh, William Howe, a working-class sojourner, uh, clocked eyes on him. That's uh, quite of a strange one. William was uh, known for liking quality hats and... Uh, he says there, clothes and fancied himself as a bit of a highwayman without a horse because he could not afford one. He was looking for somebody to rob and unfortunately Benjamin Robbins was in the wrong tavern at the wrong time. After leaving Benjamin was making his way down Fir Tree Lane, known as Gibbet Lane, when he noticed a person behind him catching up rapidly. This is the experience is what I've heard on the internet. Like a, a figure actually following somebody as if it was actually the, at the right place at the right time. So apparently most of the hauntings happen on the 18th of December. 
and that's actually the, the right time to come up here if you do want to experience it. So after leaving the tavern, uh, Bender is making his way down Fir Tree Lane, known as Gibbet Lane, which is here, when he noticed a person behind him catching up rapidly. Robbins was half a mile away from Dundee Hall when William caught up with him and pulled out a cocked pistol. You can just see there, that's what I was on about on the internet when somebody seen a figure following them with a gun holding their hand and it disappeared. So that is kind of a strange one. William then shot uh, Robbins in the back and robbed him, leaving him for dead on the lane. Rob Robbins had just got over 21 shillings on him, which was quite a lot of money in 1812 and a fine silver pocket watch, which again, that would have been worth quite a lot of money. But defying the odds, Robbins managed to crawl his way to Dundee Hall and was looked after by doctors. He lingered between life and death for 10 years and died on the December the 28th from his wounds. This is said to have caused outrage in Starwood and Kimber. Gentlemen farmers were scared by the fact that somebody was just killed like this and robbed. What the magistrates decided to do is to call in two Bow Street runners to investigate the case. If we were called to an area to investigate when the magistrates would have paid half of their upkeep whilst they were there, very often they could uh, bring a murder to justice when there was extra money in terms of rewards. There was a reward of £100 from Robin's own family and also £50 from Kimber residents and £50 from Starbridge residents uh, put up. The runners tracked down William Howe and arrested him. He was taken to Stafford Jail but did not admit anything. Though in the end there were two pieces of evidence that uh, condemned him. Firstly, he pawned a silver pocket watch in Worcester and the pawnbroker remembered his face. Secondly, he got a pair of pistols which were later discovered. Whilst in jail, he had got a fellow prisoners to pass a letter to his wife to tell her the second pistol was hidden. It was hidden away in a haystack in Old Winford. Well, I'm going to put all this in the description because there is so much down onto here, so it is really quite interesting. Just one piece here. People claim to have heard metal rattling around the area where it was gibbeted. People have experienced dark figures following down the lane, and even today there are eerie stories coming out of Gibbet Lane, and that is actually on the, on the news thing. I feel like I've got a bit of the shivers right now, I tell you guys, because I've got to go right away in there. And I don't think many people actually walk up here, what I've heard. And you just odd few people. But yeah, that is real strange. And this is why I've come today, because it is a mysterious place. But this lane, just to see that there is still evidence of an old lane here, this is really quite interesting. So you can just see the old lane remains. Look at that. That is absolutely quite cool, just to see that. And you think about, just imagine that for a moment, a road really running along here. But just check out how much nature really does date back when did this lane actually close and what date because it's got to be quite a while for this nature to take back and how old the trees are and stuff but that is awesome but it's a beautiful day today i can can just see uh stoughton castle right around the distance just down the back i might actually go that way on the way back to go down the canal line but you can just see dunsey bank it was, as it was called many years ago on the side it, I think it's actually called Gibbet Woods now at the moment, I believe, by looking on Google Maps. We're checking out there, the woods actually stretches all the way down. There is a few footpaths down on the back you can actually walk. Me, Dill and Jules done it the one night. We've bought some paranormal gear. We've had some weird stuff happen up here. So yeah, I think what we'll do, go and show you a bit up there. And I think we'll get into sort of an investigation. Let's actually see if we can actually pick some things up. We never know, it's going to be quite an interesting one. heard something guys no joke can the temperature it's really warm today it's nearly like 17 18 degrees and the temperature if i could really experience it on film how i felt then that was really weird no joke guys the temperature plummeted really cold i felt the breeze coming behind me and it was just right the way here you could just see there is really old trees here and it's quite 
dark on this little bit here. Might come back to this spot. This is a real interesting piece here. It's going to show you up here what it's actually like. Yeah, the temperatures has dropped again. This is what people was mentioning on the internet that you get really cold spots. It goes warm, then cold, then warm. I can just feel it right now. It's gone back warm again now. How strange is that? No lie. It's really serious temperature drops. But I've just noticed as well, you can just see right the way there, those are fresh signs, those are private property, no trespassing. Right the way there, it's a shame the biffer works and right the way at the back. And the sand pits, guys, are absolutely amazing. It's like you in America when you walk down to it in a desert, sort of. So it's something else again. Now you've got your wildlife and your birds, but I definitely heard something else strange. <laughs> Real kind of eerie. I've got all the paranormal gear today, so this is going to be quite of an interesting one. Just temperature's warm again now. I've gone really warm. That is really hard. So I might have to switch the phone because oddly enough, I charged this camera when I come out the door and I, I made sure that it was definitely 100%. Wow, temperature drop here. Got absolutely freezing. Yeah, guys, no joke. When I come through those gates, I know for a fact my camera was on 100%. No lie, because I always charge my camera to do my walking videos, history videos, and there's a serious drainage by the entrance, and it's gone to like 60%. And to have a camera like that, that is also a sign of like energy, some spiritual energy with hauntings. You can actually have batteries drain on your cameras, lights go. That is an odd one, and it is 60% at the moment, or something like that below that and it, I know for a fact it was at 100% so I might have to switch the phone but my eyes are peeled everywhere because after reading all that on the internet I'll tell you what it is kind of a strange one but it does actually carry on right up here you can just see you've got a woodland area let's just journey all the way up let's just forget about you know the ghostly stuff for the moment I just want to try and show you give it lighting itself and how far it goes it's a real shame you can't really go over there. I know quite a lot of people do trespass to get to the um, to the Biffa Works, which is right away at the back. But if you're caught over there, I don't really know what the prosecutions could be, whether you could get a fine. I really don't know. It's not really worth it. So if we just go up to here, you can just see the lane just extends right away to the top. It doesn't look like a lane. It just looks like a normal wooden footpath when you just check it out but there is evidence remains of the road just underneath all these leaves just keep journeying all the way up there's more stuff there evidence of road there awesome this is so i think this does li link around to the back end of gibbet lane um, it might go for the woodland a little bit though but i think it does actually back off back down to the other end of gibbet lane there is actually some sewage plant works down there and that, that is also another part of Gibbet Lane, which is really badly haunted. But you can just see, lovely bit of woodland there. You can just see all the trees. Check out all them. A lot of pine trees. And the um, that thing what I was on the back is just right away at the back. But it goes down on a path like this. And now you would think there's definitely not a road here coming all the way down. But check out all this. It's absolutely amazing, this is. But I will show you where the uh, the other footpath walks, what you can do down here. It looks really lovely. Got a lot of rhododendrons in there. Check out all them. Nice wooded bit of area. Hmm, interesting place this. Right, I might come back. So drop it in the comments if you want me to come back to this place and try and explore as much as possible. I might just show you little bits and pieces. But if it is, we do get activity today, then I am 100% coming back. Right. What on earth was that? What on earth was that? 
Did you guys just hear that? What was that? There is quite a lot of stuff going on over there, so I reckon the biff room might be at work. I can hear all the lorries loading things right about the back. It's only like literally down in that dip. But there's the footpath as you can just see, which goes all the way to the sides. Leads onto some fields, it's absolutely lovely. Leads off to the far back areas. I might come back to this place and walk it from Starbridge to get to here and check out what's even over these like footpath areas. I can just see more woodlands right away at the back which is quite cool so that might actually be a future plan but I'm actually showing you places where you can walk so you can come and check this out I mean I was just seeing more that was just uh, loading things so I don't think you're supposed to be over that way then I don't think you are so I mean just say give it wood but I'm going to see what's further down the bottom here just to see what else is even lurking you can actually just see give it lane comes to an end here so I'm guessing many years ago just showing you by the, the viewing of it You've got some seven tramp works on the corner, but it just backs off and goes this way. There's the other side of Gibbet Lane going all the way down that way. But you can just see there, I mean, this is the uh, the broader way, just right around the corner, right the way there. It says, warning, um, these woods and the sands quarry are private property. Public access and the use of any motor vehicles in this land is strictly prohibited. As you can just see there, cars and motorbikes are not allowed. The site is monitored and patrolled by the police, so guessing by the viewing of it, you're only allowed on this bit here, as you can just say. You're not allowed up there. That is actually where it goes over Tand Quarry. Not sand, I said sandstone then, but it's actually sand. Right about there, that's actually where it goes. Shane, you can't go up there to show you. It's a real shame. Well, how cool is that just to see Gibbet Lane? He did a show about the woods though, so it was really glad to go and check that out just in case. Somebody said you can go into the woods, but by them signs, I don't think you're supposed to even be over there. But you just see right the way there, it is pretty much fenced off, the perimeter of it. So you can only go up and down the Gibbet Lane itself, the old bit. It's crazy, this is. You see, it is a nice woods. Well, at least you can see it from the old road and the public footpath here in the broader way, which is awesome. Whew. It's cold here. Absolutely cold. I can definitely feel that. It's odd to say it's like really warm out there, but cold here. It's odd. So let's, let's begin with some equipment. I'm going to show you what we're using. So right, here's the equipment what we're using. We're going to begin by putting a REM pod down. You can hear that. Yeah, it's got lights on there, so I will hear it if it actually goes off. And what you said to do, if anything static, like any spiritual energy, we'll actually touch that and communicate with it. Nothing else in the environment can set this off. Maybe if a, a fly goes on it, which you have to rationalise, could set it off, but nothing else can. You see right the way there. Perfect idea just to see if we actually get anything. I've never ever ever had that new one go off when I've had it. I've had it for quite a, a long time. Um, I used to have these go off up um, Witchbury Hill, the wooden where the old fort was. I've had, actually had it go off quite a few times, my very very old one. We're also going to be using these common ghost hunting equipment today. This is known as a K2 meter. This said with these meters, if any spiritual energy comes forward to these, they will be set off, so we'll begin by putting these in various places. I'm going to put one there. I'm going to put one there, so I can just see it and just see if the lights go up on them. But what is so strange, it has gone warm. Warm again now, which is really odd. I might do a bit of calling out and see what happens, which will be quite really interesting. So I'm calling out today to any spirits of this woodland, maybe from the old murders. William Howe, if you are present here, you shot and murdered uh, somebody who was going to Dunsey Hall. Why did you murder these people? You followed them, you was actually going to burgle them and you, met, you tried to follow them from a tavern. Is that true? I'd like you to come forward, maybe touch the REM pod and siren it off. 
make yourself known please for me you think you can come forward and tell me now is this true did you murder somebody did you shoot them with a gun could you maybe set the lights off in front of me could you touch the green lights on the floor or could you touch the rampart please which is just down there the big rampart with the aerial sticking up on the middle of the the path the road you necessarily with ghost hunting don't always get anything it could just be odd times it might just be that the hauntings happen on that certain date in december but i mean just to come down you know i felt that those cold gushes of wind every now and again which is really quite of a bizarre one and a strange one So uh, I'm going to try this spot here. This one might be an interesting one. You've just got to keep trying it all, all the way down the lane at various spots just to see which part where the activity would be. Um, this is called Necrophonic. Many people may have heard of this before. It is an application you can download the Google Play Store. And what it does, it generates words, which if you listen carefully, is believed that they can actually manipulate the words to put into words themselves. So it might actually come out. Now I'm not connected to the internet or any of a kind on this device, all my data's off, it's on flight mode. It doesn't use the internet to communicate and put words through. So let's give this a try, this is going to be an interesting one. This is actually just quite a few times I've used this before. It has updated this app so it is really quite interesting. I'll drop a link for this in the description. So if you do want to go ahead and use this and feel free to. Let's begin, see if you can pick out anything from this. I've also got a spirit box with me so we'll try that as well. Let's try this. So if there is a spirit here, do you want to come forward? Do you want to communicate? I just said here. Somebody was shot, somebody was murdered. Die. Die. I said die. Die. Was somebody shot? I feel quite really. I feel like something's here, but I don't know why. I feel like temperatures drop in. Is William Howe here? William Howe that wants to communicate? He is. Did you murder somebody? You, you followed him from a tavern, you was going to rob him? Is this true? I need to know now. I just heard, I heard footsteps, was that you? Yes. So if that was you, then wh where are you then? Are you hiding? Are you scared? Is this the person who was murdered?
That was a weird one. <laughs> that was a that was a horrible word then. William, how can you come forward? Touch the device, William. Come on, don't be afraid. Give me three lights if you are listening and you can understand me. Oh, guys. <laughs> Check out this. Three lights, please. I just heard footsteps again. Temperature has just dropped as Dak 2 is going up. I heard footsteps again in there. Could it be rational? If, is there something in there like an animal or... I don't know. But that footsteps down that middle, the middle bit of the road up here, that was... I definitely 100% heard that. I definitely did, guys. So right, with the battery I've got left on the camera, I'm going to go down the bottom, try there, and I'm going to get my phone out and then film a bit on my phone. So it will be interesting down this part now to see if we get any communications at all. So we are going to try a bit of spirit box in a little bit. But this is called a spirit box. Um, these are cost around about over £100 nearly. This is actually one of the modern ones. Most of the common YouTubers who do paranormal investigations use these. They are quite of an interesting thing. You can listen to radio on this. And what it does, it sweeps through radio stations at a pace where it's believed spirits or ghosts can manipulate the, the energy frequency to put words through on these devices. It is proven. I know it works 100%. So I'm going to give it a try. You never know. It's worth a shot. Could this spike up any activity? What's here? But even having that K2 meter go up, it does show you that there is definitely something here, something really bizarre. Let's give it a go, it's worth a shot. Yo, guys, did you, did you just hear that? He said he's gone cold. The K2 meter spiked. Guys, I am I'm literally over relaxing now. <laughs> so, William Howe, if you are here, could you set the lights off on the floor, please? Could you put a green light on the floor? You touched it, or somebody touched it. You did it again. Guys, if I just captured that, you would have literally had shock. That was going off. That was literally 100% going off. I think I might have set this off or aggravated it. Whew, I wish I had a camera facing that at all times. What I'm going to do is basically do this just to show you. Let's just do it this way. Can I get this and this at the same time? Can you see the light? Can you touch the device on the floor? You give it to murder somebody down here. Is this true? Give me some lights on the floor, please. <laughs> Guys, did <laughs> did you just hear that? It just said locals. That is odd. <laughs> you said locals. What do you mean by locals? Is this locals you was planning to rob? Is that why you was in these taverns and pubs? Was you plotting to gain money from them by robbing them? <sighs> this device is freezing. Cold. 
I'm gonna walk down here. So, do you think you can come to the device in my hands? Maybe communicate with this device, please, and set it off. Do you think you'd be able to set this device off, please, for me? Check out this. So, if you are present here now, could you give me two or three lights, please, on that device? It seems like you've come back again to communicate. Come on. Don't be afraid to communicate with me. Well, by putting the lights up, definitely shows you are present. Wow, check out that. Come on. Free lights if you can, please. Do you think you can give me three lights? Have you got the energy to do that? Yeah, three lights, guys. Check out that. <laughs> there we go, how strange is that? It's actually giving me three lights. No way. <laughs> that is really crazy. So did you murder somebody down here? Is this true? It's got absolutely freezing again. So if you murdered this person, oh, robbed them, did you steal the pocket watches? Oh, that is creepy. Give me three lights if you stole those pocket watches. Did you pawn it? Is that why you was caught? You found evidence you pawned the pocket watches? Is this true? Give me another three lights if that was true. They found the pocket watches. He's not answering to that question now. <laughs> well, about shot, did he, did you have two guns? Did the two guns get found? So right, this is the final part here, let's try this and see what we get. I'm going to try a spirit box. I've had the K2 meter spike rapidly around this corner. Let's try it here and it is cold. Is there anybody, anybody here? So yeah guys, absolute strange place this is, Gibbet Lane. It is a mysterious one, I've picked up some really strange stuff even in the daytime now. Imagine I do want to come back here at night when it's getting black. That would be really quite interesting. Maybe that date on December might be worth coming back. But this is Gibbet Lane, a lot of people are wanting me to come here to try a bit of ghost stuff and, and just have one look at it. But you see, evidence of an old lane stretching all the way down, history. It's in history books. I found it strange enough in a black country history book. I don't know whether this is actually related to the black country here. I really don't know. I have no idea where the boundary of the black country ends and you've got all the different sections over the back. So, yeah. That's Give It Lane. Well, apart from that, I'll see you soon. This has been a real interesting one.
definitely coming back one hundred percent, Sam.